Today's wacky topic is, should you try to make your own air dam with whatever you can find hanging around the garage, or should you just buy a cheap lip off Amazon or eBay? Well, I tried going both routes. I built my own air dam, and here it is right here. Let me tell you the story of this baby. It worked really well for a while until it got ripped off. No, actually, wait, it fell off first, then I stuck it back on, then I got ripped off, and then I put it back on, and then I got so frustrated with it, I just ripped the whole thing off myself. This is agricultural plastic. It's really thick stuff, and the first way I put it on was with VHB tape. I wanted to see how long it would last with just VHB tape, and it actually lasted quite a while until it was a really hot day, it was sitting in the sun, and whoop, it just popped off. That's when the rivets came in. And let me tell you, if you've never done your own pop rivets, it's awesome, a whole lot of fun. But needless to say, this thing scraped on a driveway. It was too big. I can show you the edge over here. I don't know if you can see how, how that thing is just torn up. Just was not a great solution. I should have taken maybe half an inch off of it. From an aerodynamic perspective, I think it actually worked. I got some of my best tanks out of Slambo with this big old air dam. That's the old. Let me show you the new. Check it out, man. 31 bucks. Comes really nicely packaged. There's some good instructions, or they look pretty good. And for $31, I'm amazed at the quality. It's really not too bad. Here, I'll just point it at the camera. How does that look? Huh? How does that look? Are you getting that? Anyway, in a minute, I'm going to raise the garage, and I got Slambo up on ramps. We're going to slap this on. There she is, just uh, not gleaming in the sun. The first thing we'll do is promote some adhesion with 3M brand Adhesion Promoter. Mmm, spongy. The instructions recommend using a number of smaller pieces rather than one long strip along the entire length of the lip. So just cut it into smaller pieces. I used, I don't know, is that 10 inches, less than 12. And here's a nice pan around of the entire lip. I've got it applied on the face and the bottom. So we're sticking on from two different sides. Fingers crossed it holds on. The instructions recommend pulling off about an inch or so of the backing and then folding it over. And I'm taking it one step further. I've got masking tape pulling that backing over to the front so it should be really easy to peel off. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, those are all holes from the pop rivets. Oh! Some of them are going to get covered and some of them won't. We'll get to that later. Now, keep in mind, I have test fitted this lip a few times before I went ahead and stuck it on with the tape. You want to make sure it fits because, you know what, it ain't going to be perfect. There are definitely some, uh, uh, I don't want to say imperfections or flaws, but it's not going to be 100% on and you're going to have to muscle around a little bit. Yeah. Now, it's, it's not an incredibly not. precise piece, but it's pretty close. Wow. 
And yeah, the bumper is uh, pretty messed up and the elastic wrap is uh, peeling off. But this is an Ain't Care production. So we're just winging it because I got some crazy stuff in mind for this after I get the lip installed. Hang on for the nutty stuff. Hey, what do you want for 31 bucks? Ready for the magic? That's why we use the masking tape to pull that stuff forward. It makes it super easy to get a hold of the backing and just peel it right out. Now, it did not work 100% for me, but it got pretty close. One, two, three, boom. And just give it a nice push, make sure it's on. Peel it out. Look, more holes on the pop rivets. Easy peasy. And here's where it all goes south. Oh, oh. That was not good. So I've got to go reach in and try and pry the backing out. That I got it done, good. but I was pretty lucky to have not run into a major calamity. So I just got my utility knife in there, peeled it out, and we're good. Mmm, more holes. So tasty. All right, success. And if you've ever wondered how to get a lowered car up on ramps, here's your clue. Watch me slam slambo on the way down regardless. And that's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two where I take the stupidity to a whole new level with a custom fabricated goofy front aero bumper.